So close to that double deatomizer. What's up boys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. We've got some really exciting news for you guys. We're going to be talking about two brand new epic weapons. The NV4 Recruit and the Kendall 44 Shredder. Now, these were recently leaked in the game files. They are not currently in the game. So if you're here to see gameplay of them, I apologize. We don't have them yet. But before we get talking about those leaks, a huge shout out to my notification squad on the last video. You guys have been entered for the Control Freak giveaway. And if you guys missed my last video, which was on the Epic Augur, which is actually part of this Halloween event, we should be seeing that in week three. And it's the Epic Augur Pumpkin Pummeler. Has some really sweet perks, in my opinion. It's probably going to be one of the best LMGs in the game. So if you haven't seen that yet, make sure you go check that out. But without further ado, let's check out these new leaks. So these two leaks were brought to my attention about last week. Now, there was another YouTuber out there that made a video on the Kendall 44 Shredder, which I'm going to be talking about. But he said that it's going to be showing up in zombie mission teams. Now, I'm not going to sit here and talk about zombie mission teams because I just can't wrap my head around the fact that they'd be even coming into the game. I don't know if they just misinterpreted something when they were looking at the code. But why would Infinite Warfare introduce mission teams, zombie mission teams, at the end of the life cycle? Because we literally have less than 25 days until World War II comes out. Why would they add such a huge feature? So I'm not going to sit here and say yes or no to these zombie mission team leaks. But getting into the Kendall 44 and why we say it is epic, because it has a unique description in the game file. So if you've ever noticed or if you've ever come across... Some of the epic weapons in Infinite Warfare, it actually changes the description of the gun. We see it in a handful of guns, so this is kind of a dead giveaway that this is going to be an epic. So the Kendall 44 now reads, semi-automatic ballistic pistol, extremely high damage with very few bullets. And then right after that, we get some code that says perks underscore pistol underscore G18 underscore fatal. So that tells us the perk itself is going to have a name similar to fatal, if not fatal. And then the G18 portion of this is just the code. It's like behind the scenes of what the Kendall 44 is actually called in the code. Now I'm not a huge secondary guy, so I'm not going to be throwing this on. I don't even run with a secondary most of the time, even when I'm sniping. But from the sounds of it, it's going to be a very, very deadly weapon. A lot of people were talking about this may be comparable to like a Desert Eagle type weapon. You know, semi-automatic, very powerful, high recoil most likely, and it's going to have very, very little ammunition. So that's going to be the Kendall 44 Shredder. But with that out of the way, we'll be getting our third Epic NV4 called the Recruit. Now what this reads is a two-round burst ballistic assault rifle, moderate fire rate for increased stability, highest accuracy in class. And then next to that, we have perks underscore AR underscore M4 underscore burst so this tells us that the m4 which is the code name for the nv4 is going to have a burst and the description itself is a dead giveaway that is going to be a two round burst so it's going to be comparable to the rate of fire of the rvn now it is ballistic and it does have different stats otherwise besides this burst fire effect so it's going to be a completely different gun so don't sit there and be like oh we already have a two round burst assault rifle it's not going to be as good because there's already a huge difference between energy and ballistic not to mention between the two guns they have completely different stats all over the place so it's going to be a brand new epic nv4 recruit so with that being said there is no exact release date of these weapons if you guys saw one of my previous videos there's about 60 plus leaked weapons that were just introduced to the game and my thoughts on that is that they just created a boatload of weapons for the coming months so they can start developing the new call of duty which is going to come out in a few years but in the meantime they can have these stashed away because look at black ops 3 black ops 3 is constantly coming out with new weapons every single month so i have a feeling that's exactly what infinite warfare is going to do so don't think that they're just going to drop all 60 of these weapons on us at once and actually i think there's like 80 weapons that were leaked now so just expect month by month, even after the end of this life cycle, once World War II comes out, expect new weapons to pop up every month or new variants to pop up every single month. But that's going to be a wrap on this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I do have a few more epics that I do need to go over. We have the Epic K-Bar Bounty, the Epic Rack 9 Firebug, and then also the Epic R3K, which is going to be called The Wreckage. So make sure you guys are subscribed and stay tuned for a lot more of that information coming your way. 
We got a lot of epics, a lot of weapons to go over. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.